Hong Kong police arrested protesters after accessing full details of injured protesters through hospital authorities' back door. Here's a summary of the article. Hong Kong's medical sector lawmaker has said that he has proof that police can access the hospital authorities' system to check details of injured protesters who were admitted into the public hospital system, without using any special logins. After a violent clash between protesters and the police last Wednesday over the controversial extradition bill, police admitted that they arrested protesters at public hospitals as they were being treated. Pierre Chan, a lawmaker and public hospital doctor, said he received multiple tip-offs from staff at several hospitals about suspicious the hospital authority was leaking patient information, an accusation the authority had denied. Chan said that he received an internal email from the hospital authority stating that staff members should label the injured patients accepted on Wednesday using the description mass gathering outside Legco and identify them as police, reporter, civilian, or others. He said medical professionals at multiple public hospitals found that the hospital authorities system had a loophole whereby anyone could obtain patient information without logging in. The hospital authority should investigate thoroughly and apologize, he said. HKFP has reached out to the hospital authority for comment. This post received a score of 64,776, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I'm sure this ought to go over well with the citizens of Hong Kong. Added this to the list of demands of the protest. Throw it on the pile. Back to the pile. T-E-R-K-E-R-J-E-R-B-S. Oh no that is messed up. This is scary, and goes to show why it's not all fine to grant government access to all records no matter what the if you've got nothing to hide crowd says. Everyone has something to hide. Their genitals from being groped by cops, for instance. But I thought boobs are classified as violent weapons that could seriously damage the Hong Kong police officers? Please tell me this isn't real. I wish I can. But you can see the link below, and it might give you a clue how fucked up Hong Kong is and probably can understand a bit why we are so angry about our government. My favorite sentence. The court heard during the trial that Ng suffered a fractured nose after being subdued during the protest. Yeah, she just happened to get a broken nose by being subdued by the police. Subdued with a punch in the face, or a smack in the face with a baton. Welcome to the CCP style of governing. Imported to HK by the CCP controlling who can run and whom the people can vote for. Do you want 4 million people protesting? Because that's how you get 4 million protesting in Hong Kong. Do you want nothing to happen again like it did in 1989? Well, they can't just come and kill 4 million people, right? Right? Laughs in Mao. LMAO. Edit, thank you to whomever just dropped my first award. Ah, uh, award speech edits. So all those things people warned us about China and privacy were just confirmed true. Thanks guys. What do you mean, confirmed true? This is literally Chinese law. If you make a product or service that targets Chinese consumers in the mainland, the CCP requires you to create backdoors for their ministries. It was never a tinfoil hat conspiracy. Businesses and governments knowingly put up with it because they want a cheap manufacturing, b access to a billion consumers, or c both. British citizens and citizens of the European Union members, may I have your attention please, this incident is a potential threat to BC and EU citizen privacy in Hong Kong hospitals because the hospitals accept cases of patients who are British citizens and the system mentioned could possibly leak any patient data. I would like to beg for your help in raising both the British government and the European Union's awareness about this data breach. I would like to also beg for your help in speaking up if any of you had a patient record filed in any public hospitals in Hong Kong, so that we Hong Kongers can file complaints regarding privacy breaches to EU and organizations that are able to apply public pressure to the hospital authority. I might have misread the article, sorry they'll edit this post to include future information. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.